Hi fellows, it's Mikhail and this time I'm gonna share a small quick tip about scene nodes, especially about capsules, you know, how to convert your polygons to lines, you know, how to render to with redshift. Uh, actually, I already shared similar technique a long time ago with scene nodes, but this time I found interesting solution. Uh, how to use it with classical Cinema 4D object. Uh, big thanks goes to the Noseman and Tim Clampman from Hello Looks and because they already shared a uh, similar technique, but uh, I want to a bit extend it and I also share with you one of my new assets, you know. Uh, so, uh, no more words, let's jump to Cinema 4D. Okay guys, we inside Cinema 4D. Uh, first of all, let's create a simple uh, shape. Uh, I think maybe just... Uh, let's start from Toros maybe, okay. Switch it like this, okay. Press NB to see the polygons, okay. And let's go to the asset browser and type group. Actually, object group, as I remember. Object... Sorry. Object group. This one, okay. So let's place it here. Close our other browser. So, if we double click on it, uh, we open this scene notes editor. So, uh, actually, uh, Tim Clampman from Hello Looks and Nozman showed this technique, create some uh, nested parts and so on here. I tried to uh, skip this part because it's already shared with uh, absolutely great guys, you know, uh, but uh, I want to share you a bit different, actually, uh, based on this technique, but uh, how to convert your polygon to spline and how to animate it, because uh, it's it's works pretty well in scene nodes, not in capsules, you know, but uh, I want to render these splines, uh, use redshift tag, for instance, you know, uh, but uh, if we're talking about scene nodes, uh, I don't know how to do it, but uh, this, this nice object group uh, generator, we can uh, achieve this result. So I don't want to propagate any nested parts and so on, uh, mm, but uh, I want to share with you how to uh, use a classical object uh, to convert spine. First of all, let's grab this classical object, place it here. We immediately get this one. Uh, make sure if we place with press this button and great parameters parts, you know. And if right now we try to connect, we cannot. Well, because we need to connect operator. We can connect operator, you know. For instance, we can hide now our torus, and our torus represent by sin. Okay, but I want to convert this torus, you know, to the um, to the splines, you know. Actually, not splines to the lines. It's different, you know. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to create kind of uh, uh, edge to line, edge to line. Not let me find it. Yeah, edge to line. I already shared it in my all tutorial, but in scene nodes, not in capsules. Let's try to connect geometry, open this operator uh, arrow and connect geometry. And let's try to connect to here, but we can't, but because we operate as geometry, we need to geometry operator. Let's press C and find it. Operator, okay. Uh, geometry, uh, no, let's, let me find geo. Geometry operator, place it here, connect geometry to geometry and connect operator to operator. We immediately get this one, you know, it's a spline object, you know, it's pretty nice because I can uh, I show you how to use it with redshift, but uh, it's so simple right now. Uh, if here we try to manipulate, it's not working with radius and so on. Uh, Nozman already showed how to place it under this object and uh, propagate some parts, but uh, when I use the similar technique like Nozman, I can't uh, make this, for instance, uh, splines and uh, polygons animate, you know? Uh, uh, I try to explain you, okay? Let's create a noise selection 
for instance, noise selection, okay? So let's connect our geometry to noise selection and connect it to directly to the geometry operator. So right now we can uh, create noise selection, kind of. Nothing much happened, but because we didn't see any selections, in order to see it, we can create, for instance, subdivide uh, node. Okay, and we get this one. Take a look. We subdivide by noise, you know, something like that. And uh, I, I've done it in order to uh, explain you, because when I use like a child object in object group with some message ports, uh, I share a link for original tutorial as well. Uh, I don't know, maybe I've done something wrong, but it's not working with animation. Because uh, right now, if I create, for instance, time node, okay, and uh, right click on the noise selection, go to the add input all, and find heat time and connect it directly to the frame, for instance, that works. Maybe pretty fast, but works. In order to a bit slow down this effect let's find multiply node arithmetic multiply place it here and let me multiply it by 0 0.1 i would say okay let's take a look yeah maybe 0 0.05 okay and we got this one so if right now we connect our subdiv subdivide node to geometry uh, uh, in node H2 line and connect uh, already to the geometry operator, we got this animated spline, you know. In order to render it, you know, uh, in uh, Redshift, let's run Redshift, okay, just go to Advanced, Redshift, deactivate this auto sampling, uh, doesn't matter for now, okay. Let's uh, open Redshift IPR. If right now I try to add a REST object tag and choose render as a, I can choose actually render as a spline as a uh, as a cylindrical object or as a, I don't know maybe box you know I can render it that because we should place it into connect or into spline mask. If we placed it inside spline mask, move our tag here, we got this curve tab and we can choose cylinder for instance. Okay, let me run my uh, redshift IPR and with free scrolling a bit we see how our <laughs> uh, how our spline animated. I think it's pretty useful technique if you want to animate kind of huge Hute interface on some Q interface, you know, just to create something artificial, maybe. Uh, so, uh, one more thing you also can delete some uh, subdivide, use delete node, place it here, for instance, and as you see, we delete our subdivisions, you know, uh, uh, by noise. We can play with noise as well to create something like that. As you see, it works pretty nice with uh, spline mask, you know. Uh, if you want to change object, you know, you should just, uh, in, for instance, create, I don't know, this cylinder, place it here as well, open this operator, find heat geometry, and just replace it, hide it, and we get this one, as you see, yeah. So I think you got an idea how to create H to line, you know, we can subdivide twice, for instance, activate smooth on something like that, you know, subdivide twice again, and if we uh, uh, try to animate it, it's transferred to the redshift. That's pretty cool. So it's just a quick tip uh, uh, about scene nodes, about capsules in order to be on the same page with New Cinema 4D, it's still technical preview, it's still so nerdy stuff with notes, guys, you know. But one more thing, okay, uh, I want to share you my asset, which I created. If right now I run my uh, Redshift IPR, you got this interesting uh, mesh. Take a look. It's animated, it takes a bit more time, yeah. And we got, it. it's uh, mm, kind of splines, you know, with some knots inside. I use the same technique and this, uh, I, will to, I want to share this asset with uh, my patrons. 
at least uh, from fifteen dollars uh, tier, you know. And also, I gonna to upload it on Gumroad. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, as you see, it's just an object group with some uh, some propagated ports, some uh, adjusted interface. We can play around with threshold. You know, we can. Uh, change scale to get kind of this uh, organic looking, you know, uh, thing. Mm, I I found it interesting, you know, guys, maybe to create something like that, you know, play with uh, noise seed. It's uh, similar like my previous scene notes asset uh, called noise pattern, but uh, this time it's about splines, you know, and how to render it with Redshift. Of course, uh, Synod has a lot of limitations at this moment, uh, uh, but anyway, anyway, you already can create something like that. Moreover, if you want to, for instance, mesh with spline, you know, uh, you can create volume builder, for instance. Place it volume builder, okay? I think I have a wrong scale in my scene so voxel size too big let's change it to 0 0.3 i would say okay let's select our line and change radius by one maybe maybe by 0 0.5 okay let's increase density by three and we get this really nice uh liquid looking movement let's place it in volume measure okay Let's it smooth modifier a bit readjusted. Let me check how it works. Yeah, as you see, it works pretty nice. If I apply this material, let's deactivate spline for now. I think we got the interesting looking uh, liquid, you know. Of course, you can create similar just with volume builder and volume measure and some noises. But, uh, you know, you can easily control it with, for instance, smooth to make something like that. I'll go to the uh, volume builder and change it. You know, I'm just playing around with it to find interesting solution. So it's just a quick tip and small overview of my uh, of my asset. Actually, I can double click and show you uh, some nerdy stuff. I think <laughs> that's a lot actually not a rocket science but uh, mm, as i said before you can check it you can change it you know and work with it uh right now you know just uh, play around with these parameters change noise type change input geometry just a place here you know uh, and uh, achieve kind of interesting result I think that's it, guys. I uh, hope you like it. Maybe it will be useful for your projects, maybe for your art. I don't know. Uh, see you very soon on next tutorial. Bye-bye.